Okay, so I need you all to stick around to the end so that you can hear the solution to this issue. Let me paint this picture. So you have a product that you just simply cannot move. You're selling something and no one is buying it. It's a good product. You know it is, it works, it does what it's supposed to do, but no one is buying it. What do you do? Then suppose someone says, I can get you in front of a bunch of people who want your product, who need your product, they're used to an inferior product and will buy what you're selling. So what would you do? Would you go? Now what I was talking about, I was literally talking about all of us some of the time or most of us all of the time. So what do you mean, Corey? What are you talking about? We got a lot of sin in the world. I mean a lot of sin in the world. So much so that we've got a lot of sin in the church. We got a lot of churches with bad doctrine and even worse preachers. And that's the good thing. All these large churches with all these bad doctrine, all of these bad preachers, all of these different scandals in the church, all of the negative things, the sinful things, the ungodly things that have taken place in our communities and neighborhoods in our cities, all of that is an opportunity. You got a product to sell, which is Jesus. You got a bunch of people who desperately need that product, that is Jesus. You got a bunch of people who need what you're selling, but in the past have bought other products that do them no good. And you got a bunch of people who need what you're selling and they're all together in one place and they're buyers of your product. All the conditions are right, but we don't make the offer. Not only do we not make the offer, we don't even show up to make the offer. Nope, you got all these people wearing scantily clad clothes. You got all these people who are sleeping around, all these people who are in all sorts of drugs and doing all sorts of things. You got all these people there. And what would we rather focus on? We don't make the offer to fix sin. We just rather complain about sin. We'll talk about the little perverted little Nas X. We'll talk about the COVID vaccine mandates. We'll talk about illegal immigration. We'll talk about how much money this pastor's making, who's sleeping with who. We'll talk about all those things, but cannot find time to talk about Jesus. Some of you all still aren't feeling me. Let me ask you a question. Of all those people, all the types of people, and you, we see them. We see them as we drive to work or to school. We go to the grocery store. We see all types of sin and so forth. We see all types of things that just shouldn't be. We see all that and talk about them. When that stuff makes it in the church, it bothers you, right? It doesn't feel good. So here's really my question. All that sin, all that ungodliness, where would you like them to be? Where do you want them at? If we could just pick them up and package them and put them all together in one spot, where would you want them to be? In the church or out of the church? Who did Jesus say he came for? See, that's what we call in the gospel a ripe harvest. So there's a bunch of sinful folks around us, a bunch of folks who don't know how to act, how to dress, how to talk, how to care themselves, who think that they can live how they want to live six days a week and then come to church on Sunday and they'll be okay. We got all this nastiness around us. That's not a bad thing. That's not, that's a good thing. We complain about unsaved people being around us. We complain about unsafe people being too close to us, about unsafe people uh, in a, getting in our space. We complain about the wrong thing and we don't tell them how to fix it. We don't make an effort. And I'm saying this about myself and everyone else that's listening. May lose some folks off of this, but we literally have what they're buying. You've got people in church who come to church because they know they need a word. Who, who know they need Jesus, may not be living right, but they're at least open to what you're selling and we don't make the offer. So let me just remind you all what Jesus said and I said I'll have the solution to the problem. Jesus says the harvest is plentiful, be it in church, be it outside of church. The harvest is plentiful, be it at school, be it at home. The harvest is plentiful be it at work or at the grocery store. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. 
So his solution was, pray therefore that he would send laborers. That's us. Amen.